Now they go through. Cormac is a chook wall. I was started back in um, my hometown in Tullamore. Um, I was about nine or ten, I think, when I first started playing. Uh, didn't take it too seriously back then. I was kind of just playing during the winter uh, in between uh, the hurling football. And um, loved it. Playing a bit of minis, just kind of catch the ball and then, you know, run sideways and try to run around lads. Wasn't really too, you know, too, too much into the contact kind of things back then. I just wanted to, just wanted to score tries and stuff. So that's where it started for me. Yeah, the next step for me then would have been going to Ross Gray then. It was uh, such a huge step up for me. Lads like um, Michael Miller and stuff and Josh Richley then, they were, they were involved in Leinster and Munster. And for me, kind of in total, we don't have a lot of lads involved in the kind of the provinces. And it was such an eye-opener seeing how seriously the, them lads took it at that age. And for me then, just being able to watch them and I, I kind of learned so much about the gym and, and, and eating right and coming up to training. And for me, like being on training on time was something I learned in, over in Ross Gray in school because kind of used to come in five minutes later I'm in Tullamore, whereas in Ross Gray, the rugby is such a, a strong culture down there that there's kind of no messing about, and I loved it. I kind of bought in instantly when I went there. So I was, after leaving, so I was, wasn't too pushed on going to college, and I really wanted to give rugby a crack because I was, I'd grown a lot that summer, and I've said I'd maybe make a half decent forward. So uh, one of the lads told me about a uh, 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 rugby website, actually, um, and uh, I just was on it one day. It's kind of like, uh, done deal almost for rugby, there's like an advertisement looking for players, so there was a club called Kelso that were looking for a second row and I sent them an email saying, oh, look, I haven't played much in the second row, but I'd love to go over and, and give it a crack and they said yeah, so went over there for a couple of months, it was a bit rough at the start, I had so much to learn, I was working in Sainsbury's um, part time to pay my way, but uh, after a couple of months then, got picked up by the Falcons to come down and train uh, for in their academy for a little while and then had an ankle injury and then uh, luckily enough we got a phone call from um, Noosa Ford to go over and play in seven. So for me then that was a big step again. Oh, for me it was unbelievable. Um, when I went over initially it was like 120 kilos and like I was in good shape and uh, the SNC at the time kind of, I didn't train for the first four months. Just did skills, passing off my left, uh, conditioning, like maybe twice, no, twice a day I'd be on a, on a wet bike or a ski or something like that and I kind of kind of got me into that mindset of like it's not really just about you know just turning up and uh, playing rugby it's what you do off the pitch as well so I kind of you know cut back on you know the junk food and stuff and kind of because <laughs> I was obviously paying the price in the pitch so then after a while then it kind of got up to that level of fitness and then could start training and then pretty much within two months I was off to Paris on my debut playing that World Series which was such a great experience playing against Fiji and stuff like a couple months ago I was just doing the leaving start on my iPad kind of when I should have been studying looking up these lads throwing offloads and stuff I just loved it when I went out there. Yeah, it was great. It was, for me, it was the first uh, sign for me and I probably should go back in the 15s. It was, pitch was a bit smaller and it was kind of back to my old thing of it, hated contact. And for me, then Rugby X was my first time of when I kind of went straight forward, carrying forward and uh, really enjoyed it. Ended up scoring a good few tries and uh, I, I loved it. I loved it. For me, it was huge because really, apart from being in Kelso, I'd only moved the second round like kind of 20, 2019, 2020. So I had so much to learn. I had to learn out the mall and to line out and stuff. And then, uh, like, I was kind of almost fast tracked into Leinster and went in there to be fair to them. They were so good to me and they, I was pretty, pretty crap in training. They kind of stuck by me, coaches Roddy and Dan, and went, went, over, to, went over there for my debut and uh, absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Yeah, I think f for me at the time, my mindset was I was just kind of considered myself really lucky to be there because again I've only been playing second round for two years like a lot of lads by the time they were 15 they played more games than I had and I was 20 so um, I was kind of when the injury came around I was I, I, obviously I was distraught but at the same time I knew that like this was a great opportunity for me to obviously so cliche but to become better as a player and uh, I just kind of sat down and really just got stuck into the, the details of laying out some malls and kind of just watched a lot of film and then I learned a lot about my body as well you know the prep right and uh, get myself good for training and uh, again stuff that lads learn during the academy so for me really during that block of my injury I just tried to get all the knowledge I could that lads would have got you know during sub academy and academy and even underage stuff for because I never really played any underage stuff. So I tried to put that all into my injury and uh, I think it went well enough for me because kind of came back and got a game against Dragons pretty much a week later. So for me, obviously, uh, kind of one step at a time. So I just really want, I really would have put my hand up for Dan and just show Dan that I'm able to play at any game at, at, at any time of the year that he can look to, look to easy and, and pick me. So that's really it.